Hi everyone, this is Riff Young from Beijing Institute of Microbiology and Epidemiology. The gram-negative bacterium Yersinia pestis is a pathogen of plague. It causes the most notorious disease called Black Death, which killed more than one-third of the population of Europe during the second plague pandemic. Understanding the regulatory networks coordinating the growth and pathogenesis of Yersinia pestis remains a high priority, which is the primary focus of this study. Hi everyone, this is Yan Pinghan from Beijing Institute for Microbiology and Epidemiology. We will intend to understand the HFQ to SNE and mRNA networks in Yersinia pestis. We obtain a genome-wide HFQ-bound RNA landscape in Yersinia pestis by using cross-linking immunoprecipitation coupled with deep sequencing ClipSeq approach. ClipSeq data together with RNA-seq data were combined to identify and reveal the features of SNA. Hi everyone, this is Dong Chen from England. Here are some interesting results. HFQ binding density was enriched in over 80% MIS of the senior pestis. Wow, that's a lot. HFQ globally binds to non-coding SRNs reside in the intergenic anisense in the three prime regions of MIS. The U-rich stretch is highly enriched in SRNs, while motifs partially complementary to AGAAUAA and GGGGAUUA are enriched in both MIS and SRNs. HFQ binding motifs are enriched at both terminal sites and in the gene body of MIS. Hi everyone, this is Yi Zhang from AB Life. Now a big surprise and model time. As we see from Figma 5, a large fraction of SRN and MR regions bound by HFQ and those downstream regions are destabilized. The features of HFQ binding and RN destabilization are consistent with the proposed model. HFQ facilitates SRN MR based protein and the formation of kernel complex. Secondly, HFQ facilitates the SRN MR couple degradation, which may lead to different SR fates. Some SRNs are degraded, likely via the 5' phosphate activated MRCE degradation pathway. Some SRNs are successfully recycled. In summary, the presented high quality HFQ RNA interaction map should be important for further deciphering the regulatory rules of HFQ SRNs in your synopathies. Thank you.